to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is going to be a yes or no answer to whatever question you would like to ask. Please remember, this is a general reading. Lots of people and lots of questions, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're looking for a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings, thereby gift exchange, meaning I will do your reading for you as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift. Whatever amount you feel is appropriate will be perfect. That way my readings are affordable to everybody. If you'd like more information or to get on my schedule, please email me at Terry's Inspired Tarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need or onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now, looking at today's general yes or no reading, we are going to have reading number one with the fluorite. Reading number two with the rhodochrosite. Reading number three with the agate. Reading number four with the carnelian. And reading number five with the celestite. Please select your reading intuitively. Your intuition is not going to lead you wrong. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump into these readings now. So I will see you guys there. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number one with the fluorite. Your first message of the reading is to find peace within. So make sure you are looking internally for peace because that is where you'll find it. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. All right, so once more, there we go. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right, so we start with the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands talks about victory, celebrating your victories, being victorious. Next, we see the Hermit. The Hermit talks about spending time alone, focusing on meditation and spiritual growth, doing the inner work. Next, we see the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands talks about stepping into your true, authentic energy, being true to yourself, focusing on your passions. Next, we see the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords talks about stuck energy, feeling stuck like you can't move forward, like um, you're just kind of stuck where you are. Next, we see the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands talks about fighting. Um, argument energy, fighting energy, sometimes having to really fight and strive for what you want. And then topping everything off, we have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords talks about an ending. It's over, it's done. Sometimes it even leaves you feeling a little bit stabbed in the back, but it is a finished and complete ending. All right, so looking at this as a yes or no, we do have the um, Six of Wands that denotes victory and the Queen of Wands that denotes stepping into authentic energy, but that is outweighed by the Ten of Swords ending that leaves you feeling you know, betrayed, the Eight of Swords stuck energy, the Five of Wands argumentative energy, and the Hermit focusing on solitude. So it looks like the answer to your question is most likely no. I feel like some of you are going to be very happy with that because of that six of wands being in there. It's probably a good no for a lot of you, but the answer does appear to be no. 
Now, let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please show us the situations of group number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see here. Four of Swords, that talks about you needing to get some rest, focusing on, needing to focus on what you need and rest, take care of you. There's that Eight of Swords again. There's some real stuck energy going on here. We'll get Oracle on that and see how you break through it. The Lovers, the Lovers talks about the soulmate connection. Um, this is normally romantic soulmates when you see the lovers. Could be a romantic soulmate coming in. Could be um, guidance on a romantic soulmate that's already in your realm. And the magician. The magician talks about manifesting what you desire into your realm. You are capable of manifesting whatever you focus your thoughts on. So whatever it is you desire, you can manifest it using your talents and skills and gifts and the focus of your thought. Now, that also means you can manifest things you don't want if you focus your energy on them. Now, let's get Oracle starting with Angel Oracle. Angels for group number one, please. Thank you, thank you. Seek within. You know, you've got that hermit in your transparent tarot. You're being told to go inward, to seek within, to have a nice conversation with your higher self. Now, let's see Moonology on this Eight of Swords. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. What is there to help them break out of this stuck energy in the Eight of Swords? The answers you need are coming. Okay, so the answer is probably going to be different for all of you. The answer that you need to break out of the stuck energy is coming. Your guides are telling you to hang in there. Now, let's also see the Four of Swords with Queen of the Moon. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for the Four of Swords, please. Self-love. Okay, so I told you this is about taking care of yourself, getting some rest. Self-love coming out to clarify it. You need to really focus on taking good care of you, taking care of your energy. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, now the lovers, please beauty okay there is a beautiful romantic soulmate connection either coming into your realm or into your realm for you to be grateful for next let's see the magician what is there for the magician please out of spell casting blessings yes you're being told you can manifest blessings into your realm you are manifesting blessings into your realm so keep it up keep focusing on those desires and drawing them to you with your energy now the transparent tarot says no to whatever your question was i feel like a lot of you are happy about it let's get clarification on it oh you get psychic abilities so psychic abilities can talk about your intuition, your um, psychic gifts, whatever they may be, whatever your strengths are. The answer to your question is no, and your psychic connection, intuition, and abilities has something to do with it. All right, that's all I have for reading number one. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number two with the Rotocrosite. Your first message of the reading is to remember your worth. So make sure you remember you. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot. Yes or no to the questions of group number two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. All right, that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right, let's see here. We start with the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups 
talks about a beginning that is emotionally fulfilling. This could be a new relationship coming in. Um, something kind of where your cup runs over with positive emotions. Next, we see the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands talks about things moving very quickly. Could be fast moving spirit guide messages coming in or situations moving very briskly. And then topping everything off, we have the star. The star is about healing and a gift from the divine. All right, so this looks like a very solid yes to whatever you ask Tarot. All positive, strong, yes. Now let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please show us the situations of group number two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The star again, that is healing energy coming in. It's also you being gifted something by the universe. Ace of Wands, that is a beginning that has passion. So now you have a beginning with emotion and a beginning with passion. You guys, some of you are stepping into really significant romantic relationships. Nine of Wands, that talks about making a sacrifice that's unnecessary, normally through a thought form, like believing you're not worthy. And then the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords talks about stuck energy, feeling stuck, feeling like you're in a stalemate where you can't see your way out of a situation. However, in this deck, she can see through the veil. So you may be seeing your way past the stuck energy into something fantastic. Let's get Oracle for everything. We're going to start off with Angel Oracle. Angels, for group number two, please. Whatever's in their best benefit. Thank you, thank you. You get face your challenges. Okay, so whatever challenge is in front of you, you are the one that has to decide to stand and face it. Notice how there's all this angel energy behind the man getting ready to cross the bridge. The man has to choose to cross the bridge. The angels are supporting him, but the choice is his. Same goes for you. The choice is yours to face your challenges. You'll have support if you do, but you have to make that choice. Now, let's see what advice there is to add to this Two of Swords. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, the Two of Swords, please. The answers you need are coming. See, you are going to see your way through some stuck energy um, very soon. The answer to whatever's, whatever has you feeling stuck, whatever has you feeling like you're in a stalemate, that is coming. You're going to see your way out of that very soon. Let's also see the Nine of Wands, a time for healing. Okay, so I feel like that Nine of Wands is there because there's a worthiness blockage that you're dealing with in your situations where you don't feel like you're worthy of maybe this passionate relationship coming in or whatever gift the star is representing and the healing that the star is representing. You um, probably have a thought form going on about not being worthy. It's time for healing for that. Um, accepting your worth, remembering your worth is going to be important as you move forward. You've got this. Now, let's see Queen of the Moon on the Ace of Wands. What is there for the Ace of Wands, please? Acceptance. There is a passionate beginning out in front of you. All you have to do is reach out and accept it. The universe is bringing it in. You just have to accept that you're worthy of it and accept it. Let's take a look at the star with regards to the healing and the gift from the divine. Manifestation. This is something you've been trying to manifest that the universe is bringing in. I feel like for most of you, it's a relationship, passion, emotion, beautiful energy. Your, like your last little thing to overcome, the last challenge is your worthiness. You are worthy. You have to heal that thought form of being unworthy. You're going to get there. You're, you're absolutely going to do it. You have to start seeing your worth. Now, the transparent tarot, which was a yes to whatever you asked, whether it's about a relationship or not, you get forgiveness. Okay, so the answer to your question is yes, and forgiveness has something to do with it. It could be forgiveness for you, forgiveness for someone else. Forgiveness doesn't mean that whatever's been done is okay. It means that that situation that is in the past is not getting any more of your energy. If you need to forgive yourself, you are worthy of your forgiveness just the same as the person you love the most. Your best friend, your child, your significant other. You are worthy of your own forgiveness as well. 
All right, so for group number two, the answer to your question is yes, and forgiveness has something to do with it. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number three with the agate. Your first message of the reading is to get back into balance. So make sure that balance is your focus. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot yes or no to the questions of group number three. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. All right, let's go one more time. There we go. All right, we'll get this to hold the cards. We start with the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands talks about things moving very, very quickly, things picking up speed, um, spirit guide messages coming in fast. Uh, yeah, things moving quickly. Next, we see the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords talks about heartbreak. Um, this could be heartbreak from a romantic breakup. It could be the loss of something causing heartbreak, but it is a heartbreak energy. And topping everything off, we have the Hermit. The Hermit talks about spending time alone, meditating, doing the inner work, focusing on your spiritual growth, um, but kind of solitude energy, uh, focusing on yourself. All right, so this looks like the answer to your question is most likely no. Um, things moving quickly, but, um, but the answer most likely no. Now let's take a look at your situations, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please show us the situations of group number three. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Six of coins talks about giving and receiving. You guys may be giving a significant material gift or receiving one. King of Cups, that is genuine love energy. Doesn't have to be romantic, but it can be. Selfless love, compassion love, that is genuine love energy. Ten of Wands, that talks about feeling a little bit overwhelmed. So dealing with some situations that are a little overwhelming. And then the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups talks about having lots of options and needing to choose the one that is right for you, needing to choose what resonates with you. Some of your options are gonna be great, some of them are gonna be not so great, and you have to choose with your discernment. Now, let's get Oracle. We'll start with Angel Oracle. Angels, for group number three, please. Friendship, all right, so friendship is very important. When we see the friendship card, we're being reminded not to forget our friends, to focus on those friendship bonds, but also with this card, see how she's she's not looking in the mirror, she's facing the mirror, but she's actually looking at you. You're being reminded to show yourself the friendship that you show to others as well. So make sure you're being a friend to you as well. Now let's see Moonology for the Ten of Wands. What is there to add um, regarding this overwhelming feeling? Luck is on your side. So even as situations are overwhelming and you're dealing with a lot, luck is guiding you forward. Luck and the universe have your back. Now let's see the Seven of Cups with regards to all of these options. Beauty. Yes, there is going to be a truly beautiful option for you. Whether you're asking about jobs or relationships or um, friendships or moving or whatever, there's lots of options with regards to what you're asking about. Now, the answer to your question was pretty clearly no, 
but there's lots of options. You need to choose what's right for you. You need to choose what's beautiful for you on the soul level. Let's see the six of coins here. The path. All right. So there is giving and receiving going on and it is part of your path forward. You're going to receive something most likely that helps kind of propel you down your path. Now, let's see the King of Cups out of spell casting. What is there for the King of Cups here? Freedom. All right, so this love energy, and this, this is very well, it could be your energy, someone that you're dealing with that has this kind of love energy towards you. Wherever this love is coming from, it is, it is freeing. There's a freedom to it. It is setting you free. Whether you are the one giving the love or receiving the love, it is bringing freedom into your realm. Now, for the transparent tarot, which was no to whatever you asked, you get trust. All right, so the answer to your question is no, and trust has something to do with it. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number four with the carnelian. Your first message of the reading is to feed your creativity. So make sure you are giving your creativity some room to grow and some energy. Now let's take a look at your yes or no answer. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right, so we start with the King of Cups. The King of Cups talks about true, genuine love. Selfless love, compassion love, true love. It can represent a person. If it does, this person's energy is love. Um, they Love is like their language. That's the energy that they function in. Could be you or someone you're dealing with. Next, we see the emperor. The emperor talks about making decisions that guide you down the path you want to go down, being in charge of your realm and choosing your path consciously. Next, we see the six of pentacles. The six of pentacles talks about giving and receiving. Normally material in nature, you could be giving a significant gift or receiving one. And then topping everything off, we have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups says that something is coming to an end and you have to let it go so that you can step into something better. Whatever is starting after the ending is better than whatever's ending. All right, so looking at this as a yes or no, this looks like a yes to whatever you ask Tarot. Now let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we start with the Empress. That talks about having all your material needs met. And um, it can also represent motherhood. Next, we see the Ace of Swords. That talks about beginnings where you take action new ideas coming in, um, stepping into new energies. The magician, <coughs> excuse me, you are in control of your realm through your energy. You can manifest whatever it is that you desire through your talents, skills, and the focus of your thoughts. So you are manifesting. Make sure you keep those thoughts focused on things you desire to manifest. And then the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups talks about, um, well, sometimes it talks about not seeing what's right in front of you. 
but it also can talk about seeing things the way you wish they were versus the way they actually are. With it being right here next to the magician, that can sometimes be beneficial in manifesting. Seeing things in your mind's eye the way you wish they were draws that energy in. We'll look at Oracle, we'll see why it's here um, and kind of what it's saying for you. Now, let's start the Oracle with Angel Oracle. Angels, for group number four, please, whatever's in their best benefit. Thank you, thank you. You get compassion, all right. That compassion energy is so important, that genuine love and compassion and opening of emotional um, connection is important for everyone. So whether you are showing compassion or in need of receiving compassion, compassion is the energy that you're functioning in right now. Now let's see Moonology for this Ace of Swords. With regards to the beginning, where you take action to step into it. You get have faith in your dreams. So whatever you're starting, you need to be on the path of following your dreams. Don't lose sight of your dreams. Have faith in your dreams. Start pursuing them. Now, let's see the Four of Cups. What is there for the Four of Cups here, please? Thank you, thank you. Change. <coughs> okay, so... The change comes out, I really feel like this is saying focusing on your desires, seeing your desires is going to create that change that you need um, in the manifestation realm. So make sure that you are spending some time um, putting some energy into manifesting your desires, really focusing on the desire and how you'll feel when you receive it, you know, how things will look, how they'll smell, all of it, all your senses in that moment of receiving your desire. And that's going to create some change in your realm for you. Now, let's see the Empress here. Will. Okay. Your will is going to bring in stability in your realm. Your will is going to um, kind of stabilize things and create a strong foundation. Now, let's see Spellcasting Oracle with regards to the Magician. With regards to the Manifesting, please, what is there to add to the Magician? Trust. Absolutely, you have to trust that you will manifest what you desire. You have to believe that it's possible for it to be possible. And um, focusing on your desires is going to help that. Now, the answer to your question is yes. Regardless of what it's about, it looks like the answer to your question is yes. And boundaries has something to do with it. This boundaries card can talk about setting those good boundaries where we don't give our energy to things that don't, um, you know, uh, that don't resonate with us. And then also exceeding those self-imposed boundaries where you believe that you're not going to be able to achieve something. If you believe you can't do it, you won't be able to. So have faith in those dreams. Remove those limiting beliefs and find yourself to be limitless. Also set those good boundaries for others with regards to your energy so that you are um, protected in your energy. All right, that's all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number five with the Celestite. Your first message of the reading is to soothe your soul. So make sure you do some soul soothing. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay. Let's see here, once more, there we go. All right, 
So we'll get this to hold the cards. All right, so you start with the Emperor. The Emperor talks about making decisions that guide you down the path you want to go down. You're in charge of your realm. You're being reminded that you're in the power seat in your life. Choose the path that resonates with you. Next, we see the Hanged One. The Hanged One talks about some delays or um, the possibility for a need to shift your perspective. But in this deck, it's represented by a chrysalis. So it can also talk about some transformative energy. And then topping everything off, we have the wheel. The wheel talks about luck and fate guiding you forward. Luck being the factor that moves you forward towards your best path. All right. So looking at this, all major arcana. So very significant energy going on here. But it does look like the answer to your question is yes. There may be some delays in it with that hanging man in there, but it does look like the answer to your question is yes. Now let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please show us the situations of group number five. Thank you, thank you. You get the world that is completion. So completing something significant could be a karmic cycle. The tower, so again, we're still all in the major arcana. The tower is change, things being broken down to be rebuilt new, going through some significant changes right now. The emperor, again, you are being strongly reminded that you are in charge of your realm. You are in charge of your life, of the path you're going to choose, of the direction you're going to take. I'd like to point out at this point, we are still all 100% major arcana. All three of the transparent tarot are major arcana. All three of the situation cards so far are major arcana. Your guides are talking, there's something really significant going on in your life right now. Or you're asking about something very significant. Um you're in charge of your life. You need to choose what your heart desires, what your soul desires, what makes sense for the path you want to travel. And temperance. Okay, your entire all the tarot in your entire reading is major arcana. Temperance talks about balance, balancing passion and emotion and um, really focusing on that harmonious balance in your life. All right, let's get Oracle for everything. We're going to start with Angel Oracle. Angels for group number five, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Archangel Gabriel. All right, Archangel Gabriel comes into a reading when um, she's kind of bringing in lots of messages. She's translating a lot. There may be a lot of different people here with a lot of different uh, questions, different situations going on. If you need assistance, understanding what's for you, understanding um, resonating, understanding you know, your message here and just in general, Archangel Gabriel is going to be there to assist you. You can call out to her for assistance. She will help. Now, let's get Moonology for the Tower. The Tower talks about change. Not all change is bad, but change tends to be difficult for us as humans. Take time to breathe out. As you're dealing with the changes, give yourself time. Breathe. Let yourself process. Do some soothing exercises. You're going through a lot of change. Very significant transitions probably a transformation for most of you. So take some time to breathe. It's going to be okay. Now let's see temperance with queen of the moon. What is there for temperance? Beauty. Yes. This balance brings in beautiful energy. Focus on balance. Balance is going to be part of the key. Now for the emperor, hunger. Okay. So you're being told to choose what you desire. Follow your desires. Follow the path that calls to you. You are in charge of your realm. So make the choices that lead you down the path that you know eases your hungers. Whatever it is you're hungry for, that is the direction you should go. Now, let's see the world. What is there for the world for the completion? Strength. Okay, you have the strength to complete whatever's in front of you. This transformation, this transition, the, the changes, the, the balance that you need, the decisions you have to make regarding your path, 
Your strength is going to be there through all of it. Your strength is going to be there to help you complete what you need to complete. Now, the transparent tarot, which was yes to whatever you asked, you get courage. So the answer to your question is yes. And your courage has something to do with it. All right, that's all I have for reading number five. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.